why does James 2 say we're justified by works? Seriously, it says it a few times, literally, that Rahab was justified by works and Abraham was justified by works. And then it says, so we see that a, a man is justified by works and not by faith alone. Three times this proclamation is made. Now we've got a choice. We can sweep that under the rug and act like it doesn't exist or we can engage with the text and seek to understand it from its context. Now I believe that James chapter 2 does not conflict with the Apostle Paul and his writings. It doesn't conflict with the gospel message that is justification by faith. So what's going on in James 2? Well, a quick look at the context reveals his true intention and his true meaning. You'll notice that the examples of works there have nothing to do with a lifelong track record of works. No, these are one-time responses. Look at Rahab. The example given is that Rahab is justified by works as she opens the door for the spies. Well, that's very similar to what you did at salvation. You opened the door of your life to Christ. Likewise, the example of Abraham that's given in James 2, what was it? It was a one-time response. He offered Isaac on the altar. That's very similar to what you did at salvation. You offered your life to Jesus, and he took your life to an altar, so to speak. You were crucified, buried, and raised to newness of life. Do you see that these examples of so-called works in James chapter 2 are really just responses of faith? In other words, even the demons believe, but they have a dead faith. What is it that makes your faith a living faith? Well, it's faith plus response. Remember, they came to Jesus and they said, Show us the works of the Father that we may do them. And Jesus said, The work of the Father is that you believe in the one whom he sent. Now, James chapter 2 is basically saying the same thing that there's a dead faith and then there's a living faith. What's the difference? It's when we open the door like Rahab and offer ourselves like Abraham offered Isaac, that is the response that God is looking for. So if you've already offered your life to Jesus to be saved, if you've already opened the door of your heart to him, then you've met the requirement of James 2 and you have a living faith a living faith that truly saves.